do not kill the messenger. That is the message from the Auditor General Edward Ouko to the political class as APRO continues over the latest report on financial wastage in several state departments and county governments. KTN's Francis Ontomwa spoke to the man whose office generated the report, which many stakeholders are quite reluctant to speak about. It is on the silence of the Isaka Cyber Security and Data Governance Conference at the White Sands Hotel Mombasa, where the Auditor General sought to make his point. The topic on every Kenyan's mind now is the inspiration already emanating from the political class regarding the latest report on questionable financial transactions in both the national and county governments. When you give somebody a shilling, you, uh, your shilling, which is your public money, they should be able to come back with a receipt. So when I don't see that receipt, I report it. The next thing is the next stage where people who should hold those people into account come in and that's where the parliament comes in, the public accounts, to come and now question and ask the people. So we have reported things which I felt were not adequately accounted for. The report detailing massive wastage of missing accounts in several state departments and county governments raised queries on spending of nearly a third of the 2013-2014 1.2 trillion budget. You know, I'm just a messenger. I hope I'm not being shot. You don't shoot the messenger. Me, I'm just coming to tell you <laughs> what I've seen in the, in the books. So it would be sad if they start shooting the messenger. And uh, by the way, the Auditor General is here to give you assurance that we, the public people who you have entrusted the money to use it, on your behalf is using problems. So I come to tell you independently, yeah, so I'm your, I'm your messenger. So I hope you'll protect me if they start shooting at me. <laughs> In Mombasa County, the fire has started to burn. Several questions have emerged on procurement and tendering procedures, and Senator Hassan Omar is pressing for a thorough scrutiny of concerns pointed out by the Auditor General. Meaka msini tuwasema tumewatu wa nyuma katika masala ya uchumi. Meaka msini tuwasema tuwalalamika kila zamna. Baada meaka msini tumpata devolution, Badala sisi kupeleka watu wetu mbele sisi tuyaregelea yale yale mambo ya mavalimu. Sisi lazima tuwakikishe. Wewe kama umechaguliwa, kama wewe ni MCA, kama wewe ni MP, kama wewe ni senator, kama wewe ni governor, lazima uwajibike kwa watu wa, wa Mombasa County na wa Kenya kwa ujumla. Some bank accounts, including those belonging to the defunct Mombasa Municipal Council, are cited to have been operational contrary to the law. Residents are asking for leaders to be accountable. We want a clear-cut investigation into this matter, which would include even prosecution to the key persons in this government, regardless of who they are. We are Tuko na baba lakini baba ni kama ambaye hayuko. Pesa ziko. Zakweza kutusaidia lakini hazi, hazi, hazi tumiki vile na votakikana. During a recent religious function, the subject provided political fodder as battle lines were drawn. Lugi yangu governor ulipukua huko, kulikuwa na vidi kidiki vingi sana vya ruka ruka barabarani. Vya ruka ruka. Simba nka msituni ya wangoja hawengi, vya ruka ruka barabarani usitafute kumzinza Hassan Omar akakosa paka hicho kitu cha senate kwa sababu ya wewe mdanganya among those named in the report is the national police service commission that spent 31 million shillings in rent of offices allegedly not occupied the auditor general edward oko may call himself just a messenger but his latest report has come with much intensity and it will be interesting to see how those who have been implicated will find their way out of the mess Francis on Tomo, KTN News, Mombasa.